how do you know if you need to curb your fat intake or if you have a problem with um, the, the fat in your diet since, since it's been shown that there's heart disease associated with high fat diets and obese people? Well, um, there's a common blood test that's done where the doctor will check what's called your HDL level, your LDL level, and your triglyceride level. You'll get a printout of L HDL, LDL, and triglyceride. And sometimes you'll hear these words, good cholesterol, bad cholesterol used. So what does all of this mean? Well, HDL stands for high density, high density lipoprotein. And LDL is low density lipoprotein. And triglyceride is just the triglycerides um, levels in your body. Okay, um, as it turns out, um, HDL is associated with um, good cholesterol, and LDL is, is associated with bad cholesterol. So how can cholesterol be good or bad if it's all the same molecule? Well, what happens is in your body, you know, um, you either eat these lipids in the form of triglycerides or cholesterol, in your diet, or your body can also um, metabolize, can make fatty acids, which can be packaged into triglycerides, and your body can make cholesterol. And so what happens is, if you um, have a diet high in fat, you might have too much of this fat floating around your bloodstream, because once it goes into your stomach, then the fat is moved um, to your throughout your body and uh, stored. And so to move the fat around the body, since, since lipids, uh, triglycerides, and cholesterol are not water-soluble and your blood is basically a water solution, then there's a mechanism to move this, um, the fat around your body, and it is uh, in the, in the, um, packaged in the form of high-density lipoprotein, low-density lipoprotein, and um, chylomicrons also. Triglycerides are mostly moved around packaged in something called a chylomicron. Micron, chylomicron, and um, very low density lipoproteins as well. Okay, so these are all the mechanisms for moving the various types of fat around your body. As it turns out, the 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 um, let me just show you a picture here of a lipoprotein. Let me see. That's a chylomicron. Where's my micro? Okay, this is a um, a picture of a, a lipoprotein. What a lipoprotein is. It's, it's a packet, it's a package. Um, it's got proteins and it's got phospholipids um, creating what's called a monolayer. Um, and the, this is, TG stands for triglyceride and C stands for cholesterol, ester. Um, and this is just the cholesterol is also in this little membrane. So what it is, is your body has a mechanism of sort of um, making this little vesicle, uh, which has a phospholipid monolayer. Um, which protects the the hydrophobic hydrophobic um, triglycerides and cholesterol, and um, and it moves the triglycerides and cholesterol. If the if it's the triglycerides and cholesterol have been put together in your liver, then the lipoprotein will take the cholesterol and the triglycerides from the liver. Um, and move it around throughout your body so it can distribute the cholesterol and the lipids to cells because some cells use the lipids, you know, for energy, um, the triglycerides that is, and the cholesterol for structural, um, you know, integrity of, of new cell membranes that are being made. Um, you know, fat is deposited around your body for various reasons to protect your organs and, um, you know, in your brain and, and various parts of your body and also used for, you know, food. So anyway, it's got to move around your body somehow. And since it can't dissolve in the blood, it's packaged in these little vesicles called lipoproteins. And um, the, the, these big lipoproteins that are on the surface of this vesicle serve as sort of rec chemical um, uh, recognition devices so that this, these lipid um, lipoproteins will do deposited in different parts of the body. Well, the long and short of it is the, the low-density lipoproteins have more fat in them. Um, fats, oils, fats are less dense than water, um, as you know. And so since the blood is mostly water, um, these, um, these vesicles um, are just separated based on their densities. And if there's more fat in them, 
then they're going to be uh, less less dense. And so those are the low density. As it turns out, the low density lipoproteins um, serve the function to carry um, the low density lipoproteins um, are they're bigger than the high density uh, lipoproteins. They have more fat and less protein, which makes them less dense. And they the let me move this back over here. The low density, the low density, uh, the low density lipoproteins uh, carry carry the cholesterol um, from the liver and um, to throughout the body, wherever it's needed. Okay, and um, so let me see because they're they're bigger and they are they have more fat they have a better chance of being oxidized and damaged and so they don't make it to their destination and they can get hung up um, on um, different plaque that's building up in your arteries okay so the more of the lipo uh, the low density lipoprotein that you have the better chance you have of, of um, sort of clogging up your arteries because it's going to start sticking to um, to these little uh, plaque deposits in your arteries. Um, the reason why smoking is also a problem is because smoking introduces free radicals, which are very, you know, um, reactive uh, little molecules that have unpaired electrons that then can further damage the, the lipids and the lipoprotein and cause it to not be the, the lipoprotein to lose its um, good uh, sensory mechanisms and so it just gets hung up in your bloodstream. So it's just, just a bad series of events that cause the, the low density lipoprotein. So they're necessary because you've got to get cholesterol moving around your body. It's just if your body, your body um, produces too much cholesterol because genetically that's how you're made or if you're consuming too much cholesterol then this concentration of LDLs goes up and it can cause all kinds of problems. Now, so that's why the low density lipoprotein, because it carries cholesterol, it's called the bad cholesterol because it's moving in the wrong direction in your body, basically. Okay? The HDL, the high density lipoproteins, they, they look similar to the picture I just showed you, but they're smaller, they're denser, they have some different. Um, kind of proteins on the surface for recognition purposes and the and the the high density it's been shown it moves the cholesterol in your bloodstream back to the liver to be metabolized further to be um, you know turned into bile to be turned into other uh, messenger molecules and so it serves to like remove cholesterol from your bloodstream and also, there's less fat associated with them, less cholesterol associated with them. That's why they're higher, higher more dense. And they don't seem to um, clog up the arteries. They seem to move the cholesterol out of the arteries. Um, so that's why it's called good cholesterol. All right? It's all about the direction that the cholesterol is moving, either out into the body or back into the liver to be used for some metabolic reason. Um, chylomicrons, those are very similar. I think I have a picture of one right here. Yeah, very similar monolayers, only they mostly hold on the inside. These are T's and C's. It's mostly triglycerides on the inside of the chylomicron, mostly triglyceride. This is how um, triglycerides, this is how triglycerides move around your body. And um, having too much triglyceride moving around your body just means there's too much fat, basically, and it's got to go somewhere. It's either going to end up in a in a fat tissue, um, or it's going to end up if um, you have a, a diet where your triglycerides that you're taking in have more saturated fatty acids. Um, those saturated fatty acids tend to um, make more cholesterol than increase the level, the amounts of LDLs. And so that's why saturated fat is, is, um, is worse for you because it increases your cholesterol and increases the, ultimately the plaque buildup. Okay. So that's what all these words mean. So now you should know, you know, the difference between triglyceride, cholesterol, good cholesterol is just the way it's being moved around your body. Cholesterol is cholesterol. It's just how is it packaged? Is it moving? out into your body or is it moving back to be um, to be metabolized and removed from the bloodstream so it's it shows that if you exercise you'll increase your HDL levels 
um, a diet lower in fat, you should have higher HDL levels. But it just turns out some people's bodies just produce more cholesterol than needed, and that's just a genetic thing. And the person can be perfectly um, healthy otherwise, exercise, have the proper weight, good diet, and still have high levels of LDL, bad cholesterol, okay? Some people still have bad cholesterol, um, that is high levels of LDLs. And so in that case, when all else fails, then people take cholesterol-lowering drugs. Um, for example, Lipitor is a common cholesterol-lowering drug. And um, Lipitor, what Lipitor does is it blocks, and Lipitor-like Stanton drugs, they block the cholesterol synthesis that would normally go on in your body, in your liver. Okay, that's why people who take Lipitor, they have to have blood tests every year to check to make sure their um, liver um, enzymes are functioning properly because there's obviously something going on there where it's messing with the liver metabolism and it could cause, in some people, it damages their liver.